Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at how quickly basically Photoshop and Illustrator can render a multi-page responsive website design and you can take a look at the output here. This is an example of a three-page website that has two responsive screens for desktop and tablet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how quickly Photoshop will render this compared to our actual uh, rendering in Illustrator. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually load our Photoshop file. And this is the example file that we use to render the web page that we just took a look at. Now, if we go ahead and we just begin to export this, you'll see the speed that Photoshop will use immediately when rendering content. And this is due to the layer structure of Photoshop and how it works. So I'm just going to begin right away. Now, you can see that it does take some time to process each individual layer when you have a lot of layers in Photoshop. The second you start to do response of designs or multi-page designs these will now encompass many layers and folders in Photoshop which will equate to a longer export time and you can see it here you can see very quickly at 22 seconds we've only really processed about seven layers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip to the end just so we can basically have a timing of how long Photoshop takes to actually render this website now, once the export's complete, you can see that basically we processed 174 layers in 8 minutes and 22 seconds. Now, relatively speaking, this is very fast. This task alone, uh, basically because we're creating a three-page responsive website, this could take the average developer up to two weeks. Uh, not just the code, but also to create the assets and the responsive assets, as well as apply the relative layer effects to the project. So. Again, this is a very fast speed, but we're going to take a look at how we can actually increase this speed and make it a lot faster. So we welcome Illustrator. Now, the task of creating your Illustrator design, it's up to you, but what we're going to take a look at is importing a an existing Photoshop design into Illustrator and some of the changes that you'd have to make basically to get it working. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use our current PSD. And let me just drag the options over. And we're just going to basically import it as is. And we want to make sure that we have import hidden layers also selected. So let's go ahead. Now you'll see, relatively speaking, it did import all the layers and the folder structure similar to our Photoshop design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and then make a few quick adjustments just to ensure that our design will actually export correctly. Now, this process does not work for every Photoshop file, but it will work for most where it will maintain your layer structure. So rather than actually do an export right away, what I'm going to do is take a look at a few quick adjustments that you will have to make normally when you're importing a PSD. Now, one of the first things is that the background image or the layer one will copy with your actual PSD file and you want to remove this simply because you don't want any empty layers or a large white graphic which is what the background image would basically convert to. The other thing that we want to do and this is something that I know in particular about this PSD but you'll see this as an error when you export if you do come into the situation. There are some actual uh, vector graphics and page items that are not translated correctly when you're actually converting your document and the reason is that these often will have a very very large measurement area so it might be a clipping mask or something of the sort where your page item is very large so what we can do and I know this to be these actual lines right here and we can actually just take a quick look you'll see that these paths these are actually clipping paths so we don't want to include this in the document what I'm just gonna do is apply a skip tag to basically all the etched lines before we export And that's it. So now what we can do is we can actually save this as an Illustrator file. Okay, so we have our AI document. So the next step now, we're just going to simply export it. So we can reselect our options. Now again, Illustrator is extremely fast. Let's go.
Now you'll note that when we did our Photoshop export at 22 seconds, we only had a few layers. In comparison to Illustrator, uh, we're coming up to 22 seconds now and we should have about 30 plus layers that we've processed. So this just goes to show the speed of Illustrator in rendering a similar content to Photoshop, whereas we're processing 170 layers, so that's a typical design, but the time frame that we will basically receive that design in is substantially different. Photoshop will render in about eight minutes where Illustrator, you can see here that we're already halfway complete. So uh, I'm just going to give it a second for Illustrator to complete and then we can take a look and compare what the time frames are. So you can see quickly now that Illustrator rendered the exact same content in under two minutes. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly how great of a developer you are, but I don't think you'd be able to code a responsive web page with three actual pages, two target screens, create all the assets and the code in under two minutes. So not only would I say give Photoshop a try, but you have to now give Illustrator a try too, and you'll see the difference in your export.